Well, with meal number two in my tummy, I put my classic Corvair in drive, cranked up the tunes, and trucked over to my next eatable adventure. And in the blink of an eye, because it's right across the street, I pulled into Bill's Hot Dog Stand and Drive-In on East Michigan Avenue. It's seasonal, but was still open for me to sample. Now, some people call this little mustard-colored building with the crooked sign endearingly odd, but I call it eclectic diner done right. So I put her in park and commenced to making my order. Can I help you, sir? Oh, yes. Um, I don't... S can I see a menu? I don't see a menu. Oh, we don't actually have a menu, sir. You don't have menus here? Yeah, no, it's just hot dogs. Well, can I see the manager? I'm confused. Yeah, no problem. I'll go get him for you. And just so you know, your R's crooked. Oh, yes. Yeah. Signature for us. Oh, okay. 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 <laughs> I didn't know. Well, with no menu to meander and everyone else there knowing exactly what to do, I thought I'd find out what I didn't know from Jim Doe. Okay, let me get this straight. You're not Bill, you're Jim, and you guys don't have menus? That's correct. Well, before we even get to that, I have to tell you, I'm really impressed with this place. As soon as you pull in, a really nice young gentleman comes up immediately to the car, calls me sir, asks me what I want. I mean, you don't get that kind of service much anymore. Yeah, that's true. That's why we try to make it like a family atmosphere here. Yeah. Uh, very friendly, once you feel comfortable, once you keep coming back. Yeah, I mean, the parking lot's perfect. That is the cutest little building I ever saw. Do you like fold that up at night and take it home with you or? Uh, yeah, you probably could. <laughs> but I, it actually started in 1939, and all they had was the front half of it. Yeah. And then they got busier and added on the back half. Well, who was Bill? Um, I never got to meet Bill. He's yeah. uh, a little younger than that, but. <laughs> <laughs> um, but I think he'd be uh, pretty proud of what we've done with the place. Right. Yeah. And you guys don't have menus because it's just because people. It's an icon. People probably all know about this place who live around here, right? Yeah, and it's a simple menu. We have the homemade chili dogs. Right. Uh, homemade root beer. Uh, a couple of Pepsi products and chips for side items. Yeah. So we keep it simple and easy. That's my philosophy. You do a couple things really well and become known for those things, and it just makes like life simpler. And then you do a good job. Yeah, yeah. It's like so. You guys make your own root beer. Yep, every day, every morning we come in, make the homemade chili and homemade root beer. So when you come in, you get the same product every day. It's always right. fresh. Right. Wow, where'd you learn to make root beer? I'd always wanted to make my own root beer. Yeah. Um, well, they had the recipe when. When I started here, so. oh, so it's it's an it's old just, old recipe. Yeah, okay. okay, we kept everything the same. Yeah, I mean, is, is that mustard yellow? Um, it's safety yellow. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, I mean, how long have you lived in Ipsy? Uh, I've been here since '79. Since '79. Yep. What do you love about the area? Um, I'd say the people. Yeah, there's a lot of good people around here. My family all lives here. And, um, you know, I started off here in 1994 as a car hop just as a summer job. Really? Yeah, and then I worked my way up to being a manager in the 2000s, and then was able to get a piece of it um, a little bit later. I'm, I'm proud of you, Jim. I mean, that's awesome. Yeah, that's American awesome. dream, huh? Yeah, well, it is. We I met so many people doing this show who started at a place, and some of them moved away or whatever, and they ended up coming back because they love it, it's, it's your roots. That's where you're from, your yeah. family's there, and they end up owning or running the places that they started their first job at. Yeah. So, yeah, that's commendable. That's cool. Yeah. So, so it's like, like you said, it's, like, it's a mystery. You pull in here, somebody comes up, asks you what you want. You don't, you're not even sure what it is yet, but so I should get a Coney dog. Yeah, definitely. Coney Chili dog. onion mustard are um, specialties around here. Okay, and then you got fries? Uh, just plain ruffled chips for side ruffled items. Okay, yeah. and then your homemade root beer. Yes, sir. Okay, I'm a root beer aficionado, so I'll let you know what I think. All right, you put us to the test. Okay, I think I like it. I like everything. <laughs> yep, this little cash-only place is part drive-in, part hot dog stand, and all right in my book. It has a funky, cool feel that I swear makes the dogs taste even better. Because, you know, sometimes the best food comes from the most unlikeliest of places. So I would definitely place Bill's hot dog stand and drive-in on your drive-in diner bucket of fries list. It's a pure Michigan tiny treasure.